So let's take a few minutes and talk about a really cool little firearm that is budget priced for the masses. That's this little guy right here from Sky Industries. This is the model CPX2. Sky has three models out at the moment. They have the CPX1, which is like this with a manual safety, uh, thumb safety. The CPX2, which is this, and then they have the CPX3, which is a 380, and that's kind of a newer gun. Um, and I'm, I'm debating back and forth. I kind of hope to look at that gun as well in the future. I don't know. We'll see about availability and stuff like that uh, in my area. But uh, that gun really piques my interest as well. But I really wanted to focus on this particular gun right now because it's a 9mm. And 9mm is very inexpensive and common. You can find 9mm everywhere. It's a very good self-defense uh, round of choice. So I kind of wanted to focus on this for now. But just so you know, I may touch on the 380 in the future. We'll see how that goes. Uh, this particular one is a two-tone. I kind of like the two-tone. But they come in all different kinds of colors and combos. So if you go to their website and check it out, you kind of get whatever you want uh, to fit your tastes and whatnot. It's a double action only, polar frame, internal hammer setup. Uh, it's not striker fired, and I'll show that uh, to you here in a little bit. Um, it's 10 round magazine capacity for the 9mm right here. I have these magazines loaded right here with the Fiocchi 115 grain hollow point, which works great out of this gun. Uh, all the ammo that I've tested so far works great. Uh, I've tested, what, four different types of ammo, one of them being steel case, which uh, steel case can mess up some of the uh, 9mm out there, some of the semi-automatics, just because of the nature of being steel case, but it ran through this fine, so no issues there. Um, but I've tested four different types, no issues at all. I haven't tested a lot of the hollow points yet, which I may in the future. This gun, uh, just so you know, can handle plus P loads, but you got to keep it limited. It states in the manual you can do it, just don't do it a lot. Um, that's one thing, just like any other handgun, when you get a gun like this, make sure to read through the manual and understand uh, what's going on with the gun before you take it out and shoot it. To me, that's just smart. I know manuals. Gun manuals tend to be a little bit dry, um, but it is what it is you want to read through so that way you can see any quirks or any nuances of any type of gun uh, before you get out there to the range. Uh, and that's just for any handgun. It doesn't matter if it's this, a budget-priced handgun, or if it's a really expensive handgun. That's something I recommend. But in any case, uh, so far it's ran just fine. I have a few hundred rounds through this gun, so I don't have a huge amount of rounds yet, but... It's running good, and I do have confidence in this particular sky right here. Uh, as with anything, make sure whatever handgun you get, whether it's a sky or if you have, you know, some different type of class of handgun that you're going for, make sure to take it out and really put a few hundred rounds through it first before you trust it for home defense, self-defense uses, or anything like that. It's just so that way you can verify that everything's good to go. You can work out any break-in period type issues or anything like that. It's really smart to do. Especially, uh, make sure you run a decent amount of rounds through the type of carry ammo that you're going to have with this gun. Uh, this is the type of ammo that I'm going to carry with this thing. Um, if I want to carry it for a camping gun or conceal carry, I'll be running this stuff. This Fioshi 115 grain hollow point stuff. But in any case, uh, the handgun itself, like I said, it's an internal hammer. It's a double action. So, there's your little safety check. It's a double action, long trigger pull on this thing. You can see right there, it's a very long trigger pull, and hopefully you can see in the camera the little hammer. Uh, it's kind of like the Rugers and stuff like that. Um, if you messed around with any of the Ruger internal hammer stuff that they have on the market, it's kind of the same thing. It's a long double action trigger pull, but it's very consistent. There's not a whole lot of stacking. There's your brake. I'll cycle it, even though you don't really need to with this gun. It's just force of habit. Your reset is all the way at the end of the stroke. So you have to kind of get used to that. It is not a detraction, I think, or a, an issue with the gun. Some people look at that as an issue that they have to correct. I disagree with that because it is the design of the gun. If it's working as designed, I don't view it as an issue. It's just something that I think you need to know about and make sure you kind of realize that a long double action trigger pull does require a little bit of training if you want to get fast accurate shots at distance because you have to train to work with that reset and it is what it is it's it's no different than having a revolver or training for even a single action 1911 that has a really short crisp single action pull you got to train for that too 
So it's not um, anything that I'm going to fault the gun for. It's just something, hey, you buy the gun, you just have to know how to use it. Um, I think the double action pull, when I first started shooting it, because I'm used to striker fired, it took me a minute to get used to, but once I put a few magazines down, I got into the groove of things and I was perfectly fine. Uh, the slide serrations are good to go. It doesn't have any front slide serrations. Not a big deal for me. Very smooth operation on the, uh, on the slide there. Your slide lock slide release right here sticks out very nice. So that way you have no issue dropping uh, slides on reloads and whatnot. Or using it to lock your slide back when you're unloading or safety checking the gun. The sights, I uh, have a polymer front, steel rear, which I like the steel rear, and the profile, it has a little bit of an angle profile, but it's still a good enough profile that you can hook it on something and still do uh, one-handed manipulation, which I like. Um, I've never been a fan of the real sloped sights. I think this has, this has got a little bit of a slope, but there's still enough to it that I can work with it. External extractor, of course, very reliable. The insides hopefully i can get the angle here for you on the camera it's kind of hard to tell but the insides are polished very well i like that steel guide rod right here steel captive guide rod uh the texturing on the grip and the finger grooves i have really big hands so i really like it it's really uh nice fitting in my hands especially with a magazine with the extended base plate on it um, I have no issues with recoil control, follow-up shots. It doesn't move around in my hands. The only thing that occasionally has happened is because of my big hands, my thumb pushes up on the slide lock, and then as soon as I fire around, it locks the slide to the rear. I kind of trained myself out of that. I just realized, okay, with this particular handgun, I had to move my thumb a little bit. It's no longer an issue. So... Um, I do, if you're looking for an inexpensive gun, I do recommend these guns. They're made in the USA. They're very easy um, to operate, manipulate, in my opinion. Uh, if you have any issues with a weak grip strength or a weak wrist or anything like that, you may have to work on that a little bit. Uh, just going to keep it honest. You may have to work on it a little bit with this particular firearm. And I say that because... The slide here isn't the easiest to operate. It's smooth, but I can see if you have some grip, grip strength issues, you may have some issues uh, reciprocating the slide, and the long trigger pull may cause some issues if you have any type of um, grip strength, finger strength, wrist strength, anything like that due to disabilities, injuries, or just whatnot. It's just something to think about. So uh, other than that, I recommend the gun. The accuracy is right on point. I haven't shot at super long range yet, but 10 yards out, 15 yards out, the standard seven yards out, I had no issues with it. Um, and of course, we got some little bit of range footage for you guys so you can just see the, the gun in operation. Uh, if you guys want to know any specs on the gun, feel free to go to the Sky Firearms website. Uh, it's www.sccy.com and they will give you the specs. I could put the specs on here, but I like directing people right to the website because that's pretty much, you're getting it from the horse's mouth, uh, so to speak. So that way I don't inadvertently mess something up. So you can go right to their website, you can check it out, and you can see all the different, uh, you know, the specs, the weight, the all that good stuff, uh, and you can go from there. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Again, I recommend this gun. It's a good little gun. It's a basic self-defense gun. It's good for camping. Uh, Self-defense of the home, self-defense of the person, you know, everyday carry, all that good stuff. All right. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe, and feel free to put your comments in below.